Hey guys, this is Julia and this is another episode of Journal With Me. I'm so excited for this one. I really, really love how it looks. So I use blue watercolor as a background. And here I will be experimenting with different brushes and sponges. So I use this sponge. Uh, it's a makeup sponge that I used uh, for my foundation and powder. And uh, yeah, it's old, so I decided to keep it to use it for acrylic paint or watercolors. But as you can see, it wasn't successful here. So I decided to use another brush, but oh wait, it also wasn't that successful. So yeah, I will just uh, continue <laughs> experimenting with different brushes. And then I, I will take another brush here that I took in the beginning, which is funny. So now the background is finished and I am going to make something else. Another like a layer for my background. I had this image in my in my head. I just... I just wanted to create it so badly that when I came back from college I was just like okay I need to do this right now and yeah I really love the creative process of it I um, use only watercolors or simple markers now in my current journal so it was so cool to take another journal and uh, do something that I love to do uh, actually like layers and watercolors and acrylic paints well here I didn't use acrylic paint but still I, I love uh, create I love creating something messy and I love experimenting so then I took this handsome young man and what I need I need only his face and yes I'm cutting out his face that was a very exciting process. I mean, don't be afraid to experiment, especially with your journal, because this is freedom. And yesterday I watched Viola Davis's speech uh, when she when she won her Oscars, and she said that artist is the only profession that celebrates life, and I agree with that. I mean, uh, no matter what kind of an artist you are, an actor or filmmaker or painter or musician, I feel like creative jobs, they always celebrate life and this is so amazing because you can create something new and that's why I love being creative. So I'm cutting out his um, eyes because we didn't need it and why you will see, we will make him more beautiful. I hope so <laughs> and yeah I was talking about the artists and how they are how they celebrate life and I feel that now I'm not that creative so I'm looking forward for this the hundred uh, day project I hope I'm yeah I hope it's the right name I think it's the right name I always forget the name of this project uh, but it's starting in April and I'm so excited. So yeah, now I am choosing for the flowers and I love mixing flowers and black and white photography and just the colors, you know, I, I love it. Uh, for example, black and white background and some colorful images or you probably have seen my Broken Girls. And I love making combinations of them using only white or black paint or marker and creating something colorful around them. And I love the whole idea of thinking outside of the box. I don't know, I just, I love pushing myself and I love being creative. And because now I don't feel like I'm that creative. Um, so I struggle a little bit with that. And I try to push myself and it's it, it can be hard being honest so I found petals and flowers for this young guy mm -hmm. 
if you have any channels or instagram pages that you love tumblr pages i would appreciate if you would leave the links because i need some inspiration being honest and i i don't go outside that much uh, because i have to study i have to work on my youtube channel i have another project and i don't really have time to go outside and explore now but plus the weather isn't that great so yeah if you have any websites please leave it and i would really appreciate it so now i am finishing my background and it looks cool i really like the combination of white blue and red and i think this blue is so so beautiful and now i'm making a frame I would also love to know what inspires you because for me it's nature, other artists, successful people and just going outside and explore books, movies, museums, new people I feel like life in general Tumblr and Instagram definitely and YouTube I love all of these apps and social medias um, yeah um, I don't know what inspires you because I also love to know about other people's inspirations and how they see this beautiful world and yeah tell me about it around and around and around we go. Also, I was trying to make this video shorter because in reality it was like 20 minutes long, but I don't know, now it's about 9 minutes and it's still kind of long for journal with me video, so I'm trying to find the ways to make this video shorter, but when I create, I think a lot and I look at the things and... I need to, you know, absorb the information around me, the colors and stuff like that. So for me, it's also a thinking process and I can create for hours sometimes because I don't know what I want to, to say and I just look at the things around me and I ask myself this question, what are you trying to say, what are you trying to say, what are you trying to say and then I'm like, okay, I see like this nice image so probably I want to use it so sometimes it's honestly it's a very long process for me but sometimes it's very quick like I can create something in 5 or 15 minutes so here I decided to take the stars and because I felt like something is missing I like the idea but because his head <clears throat> wasn't that big so there's a lot of uh, the space that I wanted to fill in and I decided to use the stars and I think they look amazing with this blue background and this um, white background as well and then I took this golden marker and I made a few dots and it looks amazing I love how it looks I am so happy with this one and yeah thank you so much for watching Hopefully you enjoyed that and see you in the next video guys. Thank you so much. Bye.